Do you it's have a motivational quote or something that you go by to like keep you going? But I still live by, it may be old, but that live, laugh, love, that's real. Like live your life, laugh, things happen, enjoy life mm -hmm. and love. Like to me, I, you don't give up on love. You got people who will. I feel like it's there. Okay. My name is Deandra. <laughs> AKA Didi. Okay, Didi. <laughs> I see you got your uniform on. What does that mean? You are a lady of the law. You lay yes. down the law. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am a correctional officer for the county. I currently work at Metro West Detention Center. Um, yeah, I'm a CEO. What is that actually? What do you do? Um, I'm a correctional officer basically when the inmates get arrested. Mm -hmm. They bring them to the jail, and I babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Not babysit. It's definitely babysitting. Inmates, that's so scary to me, like, you know, working around, you know, like, criminals and stuff. How, how does that go? Um, It's interesting, very interesting. Um, Especially when you see the cases on TV, and then, bam, the inmate is in your unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're like, oh, shoot. I know what he did. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that plays a big part, but... It's not as bad as people make it seem. Mm -hmm. um, to me, I feel like correctional officers' job isn't as bad as the police because I know what I'm in the sales with, you know? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't like where I work, which is Metro West, because mm -hmm. I'm confined in with about 72 inmates by myself. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's like my desk is here and they're all out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things happen. Officers have gotten attacked. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you got to have that fear. It's no, if you're not scared, I don't know, you're not human. Mm -hmm. But. So you, you alone sit in, mm -hmm. in like a room, that's it? Is this like your dream job? Did you always know you would be a correctional officer? No. Um, I just applied and they called <laughs> and I went. <laughs> that's it. And oh. I actually like it. Okay. I like it. So how long have you been a CEO? Since 2000 and. 18, but I've been in a county since 2015. So I went this year, like my seventh year, mm -hmm. being in a county. So you like plan to retire? Um, unless something mm -hmm. dropped out the sky, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pension is really good, mm -hmm. so you know. So what does that really mean? Though I always hear people talk about like pension and. Um, it accumulates as you work throughout the years. It's a retirement. Okay. Yeah. So. No, it because I'm ex up. cause like a side of like a, a entrepreneur or a hustler, like pe that's that's the difference. People tell me, oh, you can get insurance or the benefits that like, yeah, people yeah, brag about the benefits. The benefit of it, yeah. Um, it continues on even you know after you retire, you can you can continue to get benefits even though you do have to still pay for it, mm -hmm. but you know it's at a cheaper rate or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, so benefits is technically just insurance, four one k, all that. So, and then you're a mom as well. Is that scary? Like going to work and then coming home like to your kids? Yes. Or? I always say a prayer like, Lord, let me go in and come out the same way. You know, I went in because mm -hmm. you just never really know, mm -hmm. you know, what can happen. How was the process? I know you say you just applied, but it was it like a long process. Did you have to do like interviews or? Oh, my God. Yeah. The process took six months mm -hmm. once you finish with all the paperwork and they want to know about your whole entire life mm -hmm. after that of course you go through the academy mm -hmm. which is about five months it's like a physical academy you're like you're it's like you're in the military mm -hmm. do you still use those techniques like to, to like at work <laughs> yes you're supposed to <laughs> I mean, because it seemed like Academy was like the running and stuff. Yeah, right? I mean, we run the backups. You know, if an officer called on the radio that they need help and you're available, you have to run to, the, you know, their assistant. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you do a lot of running. And sometimes you may get into a, a physical altercation with the inmate. Mm -hmm. So you got to use them DT skills. Mm -hmm. so. Have you ever been in it with an inmate? Or have um, you ever had to back I've up? I've had to run to backups and assist yeah mm -hmm. i never had to physically one-on-one -on -one by myself no so when you assist did you have to throw hands or you be... yes <laughs> <laughs> or do you have something to fight them with or no, these balls <laughs> <laughs> that's it i mean really when you're in a facility all you have is 
your um, OC spray, really. Okay. Um, we do have weapons, but the only time we're allowed to have that is normally like within the courts. Mm -hmm. For ride home, when we're in uniform, we're mm -hmm. supposed to have our weapons on, mm -hmm. regardless. So because you ride home in uniform? Yeah. Are you? Is that a part of the clause? You? Um, not necessarily, but I mean, yeah, I mean. You can't change the clothes at the gym. I mean, I don't know. I probably throw on the well, shirt. You do, I don't have want people people that, to... you do have people that that take their shirts off so they don't be seen or whatever. But mm -hmm. it's not that it serious to you. Yeah. yeah, you don't I feel like you. Oh, okay, <laughs> so you don't feel like you have like bad blood like with inmates or whatever. Um, no, because I'm not one of those COs that treat them like shit. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to treat them like that. And uh, you have those people that do it. They. Rah, 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 you know, talk to them nasty and stuff. I don't have to do that. You know, you gain your respect, and they respect you as a female. They respect you as an officer, and that's that. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're still human. Mm -hmm. Well, like, dealing with a real mental health person, mm -hmm. and they really, like, spaz out. It, it's happened. A mental health person has hit officers, mm -hmm. has attacked officers, so it, it happened. And because I know it happens, I think that's my biggest fear. A lot of times, they confuse the mental health inmates with the regular general population inmates mm -hmm. and because of that sometimes they spass out mm -hmm. and when they spass out you like oh mm -hmm. hold on now mm -hmm. because that can become physical mm -hmm. so a lot of times i'm like uh-uh y'all better come get them because mm -hmm. i ain't finna deal with them mm -hmm. sometimes you can stop it ahead of time so how would you know the difference like you say they confuse them how, oh, how do how do they know the, how would you know the difference you could you could tell you could tell by i mean i i'm, I'm certified to identify mm -hmm. so you could tell they talk different they act different they're weird to a certain extent mm -hmm. you could tell a regular person from a, <laughs> a mental health person like they talk to themselves if you see somebody standing at the wall literally just standing at the wall for a, a certain amount of time it's like all right that's not normal mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so you start to notice the the normal of it and you know mm -hmm. do you think you take any of those like the way people act home, like with you acting how inmates? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because I would think if you can find in the room, like with so many different personalities, you would pick up some type of traits, um, maybe. In the beginning, it was kind of hard for me to kind of separate the two. Mm -hmm. But now, child, once I hit them doors, it's like work well. Okay. I don't even, even think about it. Mm -hmm. so. And so, so, do you do anything else, like, outside of being a correctional officer? Um, yes, I do hair. That's my little side hustle. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing hair, oh, my God, since, like, middle school. My friend's hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really broadcast myself out too much because I tend to get overwhelmed mm -hmm. sometimes. And I like to tell people no. Mm -hmm. So, but literally, I'm very consistent with hair than what people think. Because I don't pose. I don't put it out there too much like that. Mm -hmm. But my clientele always still rolling. Mm -hmm. like, at least a week, I have like four heads a week, if that. Mm -hmm. Like, probably more than that. But that's like the minimum of it. Mm -hmm. so, so, would you say that you need a side hustle working as a CEO? Or you think you just do that for like... Some... I do it because I've been doing it for so long. But no, I don't need it. My husband tell me all the time, I don't even know why you still do hair. Mm -hmm. But, you know... Mm -hmm. It's just something that I've always done, and then I have my consistent clientele, and I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, leave mm -hmm. hanging like that. So mm -hmm. that's why I continue on with it. Okay. So you're a married woman? Yes. <laughs> and a mother as well? Yes. And a homeowner? Yes. <laughs> How is that process, like, being, like, a homeowner? Oh, when it comes to the pros and the cons, one thing I can say is that it's a wonderful feeling. Like, mm -hmm. I love to pull up to my house. Mm -hmm. So, like, oh, I actually... I'm like buying this, you know. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Was it a hard process to purchase your home? Um, I won't say hard. It was just aggravating, stressful. Um, the paperwork, mm -hmm. the banks in your business, like it, that's the hard part about it. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, when it's always over. Mm -hmm. But during the process, woo. You're going to probably get a couple of gray strands because it definitely stresses you out. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. So what's the difference between the county and the state? Uh, with the state, they're already sentenced. With the county, they're waiting to get sentenced. So sometimes they go home, sometimes they don't. Okay. Yeah. And so how is it there? They treat you like you the police, like you the ops? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. 
they hide, they sneaky. Mm -hmm. They don't allow us to see a lot of things, you know. So is it like ranks or? Yes, Um. once you come from correction officer, you go to corporal, which is the supervisor of the officers, and then there's sergeant, and then lieutenant, and then it goes up. Mm -hmm. Um. At first I didn't care to be a, go up and rank, honestly, because I don't want to deal with people with him in general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But, you know, the more and more I do my years, I'm like, you know what, it's maybe not that bad. Mm -hmm. So, you know, once my time come, I I believe I'll do it. And is it more money when you do these different oh, positions? Yeah, that, yeah. So, like, why not go up higher? It's just a headache that comes with it. Like, right now, I'm just a CEO. I can sit down. I only mind my own business. Mm -hmm. You know, when you become a corporate, now I got people that's working under me. Now mm -hmm. I got to deal with them. I'm getting in trouble for them, you mm -hmm. know? It, it comes with a lot. Is it hard to get to that next corporate level, or is it just like a test? Yeah, it's a test you take. Oh, it's not okay. Hard. And then they train you for it, or is it just studying um, paperwork? Yeah, you get trained for it. You're supposed to. <laughs> Why you say it's supposed to? People don't because mean... sometimes it's like they kind of just throw you out there, and you're like, okay, let me figure this out. Mm -hmm. But even sometimes as a CEO, I went through the whole academy, and sometimes I still have to figure things out, like, mm -hmm. see if I'm doing this right or not. Mm -hmm. Um... I think I'll do it. <laughs> what do you say? You give yourself like some more years or something? Well, you have to be an officer for at least five years. Mm -hmm. um, and then anything five years and above. So my five years, unfortunately, by the time I hit five years, which will be next year, July. Well, I think they take it like the test they take like in March. Mm -hmm. I won't make my five years until July. So mm -hmm. I have to wait two years after that. Yeah. That's backwards. I know. But well, they only do the they test do every, every two years. Oh, every two years. Yeah, but oh. you have to be an officer for five years to uh, to apply mm. and take the test. Mm. So yeah, and eventually then, I'll get there. Eventually, and then you say you never want to be a cop, or would you? I had my days. Some days I'm like, I think I want to do it, but other days I'd be like, for one, I I hate to say it, but I don't want to go to the academy again. Mm -hmm. And with being a police, it's nine months academy. Mm -hmm. Woo. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Even though that it may fly by too, but as of right now, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of people that eventually they say they're okay, and then long, later on down the line, they're like, I'm tired of it. I'm going to switch. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll be like that too. But. So, the switch would be more of a freedom or more of what? Yeah, the freedom. Oh, okay. Because you do feel like you're confined in with inmates. I feel like I'll be in jail. Yeah. I don't see outside until I go outside. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I You would. definitely feel like an inmate sometimes. Most times. Y'all better treat them inmates right, you hear? Yeah, I treat mine right. <laughs> they, 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 they human. You know, you do have those ones that that be a mess, so sometimes you got to put your foot down. Mm -hmm. But I tell my unit all the time, y'all my kids. Mm -hmm. That's what they be acting like, kids. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no. treat them as such. Okay. I tell them, y'all like kids, I'm going to treat you like kids. Y'all mm -hmm. like adults, I'm going to treat you like an adult. That's how that go. Okay. So we got to understand it. I'm in the same unit every day, five mm -hmm. days a week. So I deal with the same inmates. I mean, unless, you know, I have people come and go also, but for the most part, they already know what I'm expecting. So mm -hmm. I don't really have to say much. Okay. Which makes my job easy. Mm -hmm. And so do you prefer the morning shift or the night shift? Because you used to work at night, right? Yeah, I used to work at, oh, I did nights for many, many years um, mm -hmm. from when I started. And then eventually I went to mornings. Um, night is really chill and laid back. But I miss my bed, I got a husband, got to mm -hmm. come home to my man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that plays a big part. So when I did switch to morning, I saw the difference. The only thing is that the money difference. I always felt like that women that's married or, or men that's married, they shouldn't work overnight. I agree. Is that something that you have to worry about? Not saying you in particular with your man, right. but do you think that's something that a woman or a man should have to well, worry about? Well, at the time, well, yeah, when I first started night he wasn't on night mm -hmm. so of course you know it's a woman you're gonna be like mm, mm, i want to be really in the bed you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying it mm -hmm. happens women gonna think like that i don't care how perfect you think your relationship is you're gonna think like that mm -hmm. um but at the time i was on nights and he was on nights okay. so it worked okay now he's on mornings well he works midday but now i'm on mornings it works even better so and he's a correction officer as well? No. Is oh. it true, like, correction officers really be in relationships with, like, the inmates and stuff? I've seen that happen as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's I believe that it's harder at the county. Of course, you don't see them, like, too much interacting because of how the county jails are based. Mm -hmm. But I've heard of officers getting in trouble behind inmates and stuff. Mm -hmm. I 
I personally just don't see how, how they can do it. I, you see a lot of stuff that you think you don't, that you won't see in county jails. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a lot of people come out the closet once they get in jail. You'll be surprised. Sometimes I'll be like, I wonder if, because I see it. They be on the phone with their girlfriends. And then I see them over there with their boyfriends. Oh, I Lord. see it. So it happens. Oh my God. I, you'll be surprised, but I see it all. Well, you did say that you in there confined every day, so I could see some type of attraction. Like if you somebody look good, it's like I just I don't, I don't know. Me personally, I mean they're human, they're God, mm -hmm. but I just always look at these men got two pairs of drawers and they've been here for four years. <laughs> That's a problem for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you start looking at the negative of it, I promise you, if you, I don't see how they do it. But if you work in there, certain things, you be like, ugh. Mm -hmm. The smell alone, just the, the way how they got to take showers, the dirty showers, the dirty bathroom stalls. I just, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't do it. So four years, but I thought the state is, you said when they get sentenced. So somebody could not be sentenced and four be- years. Yes. Four. Um, I remember when I was at the at the main jail, we had a guy at this time, this was about 2018. Mm -hmm. I had a guy in there from 06. He still have not got sentenced. Yeah. What, what is that about? They be, sometimes they be bucking prisons, they keep, have an issue, keep trying to appeal their trial, keep trying to appeal it, and they go on and on and on. Or sometimes they still trying to find evidence to find them guilty. Like you have those cases where I know you did it, I just can't pinpoint that you did it. Mm -hmm. So they gonna make them ride out in county jail until they figure it out. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So anything you would tell to your younger self, younger Dee Dee? I wish I would have started a lot of things earlier in life, mm -hmm. like maybe apply for corrections earlier. This is a career where um, I could have retired by the time I was 50, mm -hmm. like maybe at 50. So if I would have knew better at that time, I would have applied better. But like I said, this, I had no intention of working in corrections. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's still a blessing. I still got a career. So, mm -hmm. so how do you know what age you could retire at? I don't get it. Like you have to work a certain amount of eight, uh, years. Right. The, the years that I came in, um, they, it used to be 25 years, but now it's 30. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I gotta do 30 years. <laughs> oh my goodness, 30 years? I know, that, it that sounds so like far away, but I promise you it go by so fast. Because it feel like I just became a CEO mm -hmm. sometimes. Like, I'm like, wow, I'm really like some years in. Now. Mm -hmm. I get it. I'm mm -hmm. almost, you know what that now? Beginning. Infamous question, how do you make it in Miami? You just make it. <laughs> <laughs> you save, you budget. Live life accordingly. Yeah. I'm gonna make it.